Hey guys, what is going on? It's GMXB1. And I've just come across this article. Uh, I did notice it last night, but it was a bit late to do a video on it. So I just thought I'd do a video on this now. Uh, Xbox 360 owners uh, are now getting messages. Only a selected few are now getting some messages uh, when they boot up their Xbox 360 console to upgrade to the Xbox One. And they will get a $75 promotional code to spend on how they wish i.e. games entertainment you know or something else they want to order from microsoft.com itself so um here's here's the article anyway here's i'm just going to read you the article now so it says a canadian gamer booted up an xbox 360 games console and unearthed a 75 dollars surprise how much would it take to get you off your duff and over to your local game date depot to pluck an xbox one off the shelf Five dollars, twenty-five dollars, fifty dollars. How about seventy-five dollars? That's how much one user um, was Microsoft was offering to incentivize Xbox 360 owners to pick up an Xbox One, effectively reducing the regular four hundred dollar system's price tag. Assuming you plan to buy games and other stuff immediately to three hundred twenty-five dollars. The message says. Um, Thanks for being an Xbox fan. So, hi, I'm not going to use his name. Um, as our way of saying thanks, we're giving you one of our very best customers an exclusive $75 Xbox promotional code with the purchase of any Xbox One or Xbox One bundle from Microsoft Store or your local retailer. Your code can be used for games, add ons, movies, and more. And then it's got um, an ad what redirects it to the Xbox.com Xbox One console to actually purchase one. Users must purchase and activate a new Xbox One console with or without Kinect from July the 7th at 12 a.m. Pacific Time right until July the 31st at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time. Microsoft says the $75 promotional credit will be sent to the Xbox One's console message center direct by August the 15th and then you have until October the 15th, 2014 to redeem it and a full year till 2015 to spend it. Now this is across Canada. Um, the US and the UK so Xbox actually come back a Microsoft spokesman come back and it says this short-term promotion is offered to select Xbox fans in the US Canada and the UK we are always looking for opportunities to bring promotions like this to our customers but we have nothing further to share at this time now I'm gonna give you my take on this now my take on this is this is a pretty smart fucking move by Microsoft now if you remember last year prior to the xbox one release um they had an advert on if you owned a ps3 and an xbox 360 a uh, hundred dollars to trade in your old consoles to upgrade to the new console did any of you take advantage of that i would like to know that in the comment section so let me tell you why i think it's good so effectively it is reducing the price now if you bought the connectless one to 325 dollars effectively okay so that is a good start now a lot of people are saying microsoft are throwing money at people to buy their console which is effectively not true that's not true at all um i think it, it is a good smart move by microsoft now as you know all these gaming groups you get all these fanboys and that the fanboys were damage controlling this yesterday saying that you know microsoft are, are actually paying you to get their system blah de blah de blah not that sony ever does does anything fucking wrong but you know they're just too blind to see it uh, but if this was on the other foot and sony was doing this they'd be at it oh it's a great idea they're looking after the consumers they're looking after the gamers they're looking after the fan base but then you'd get other ones saying what well, sony don't need to do it because we've sold nine million consoles that's all what we seem to get off these sony fanboys today nine million consoles that must be a new game so I don't know what they're actually talking about there, but obviously, of course it is, it's got a 4 million lead in the race of the consoles. Uh, let's just wait until September and see what happens. I'm not saying the Xbox One is going to do well in these countries. It might only boost the sales by um, 1.5 to 2 million. You know, we don't know. Um, it is launching in all these other countries in September. And I know in Japan, it has uh, the pre-orders have sold out on the actual websites there. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens on that side of things. But let us know what you think, guys, about this um, Xbox 360 owners. If you are 
contemplating on getting the X1, is this a deal what you'd probably take advantage of with what happened at E3, you know what Microsoft and the Xbox division are actually dropping now, so are you looking forward to these games, are you looking to the Master Chief collection, you know, there's a Gears coming, possibly a Marcus Phoenix collection coming as well, so let us know in the comments guys, I just thought I'd give you my take on this, so thanks for watching, keep it gaming and peace out.